Yeah, hi there. Uh, these comments are for uh, Ying Zhou. This is Michael, uh, your English 103B instructor. Uh, you're definitely getting better. You've been working really hard on this paper, so uh, keep up the good work. And uh, let me get my video camera just right here. Okay, here we go. So let's take a look at the beginning, I think. Uh, let me go ahead and number your paragraphs here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. All right. I think you're getting a little bit better in terms of your paragraphing. I think uh, your, your paragraphs, most of them are not too long and not too short. Uh, your introduction, you actually have a, a thesis. However, it's a little bit awkward. In the beginning, you say, have you heard the prediction of 2012? No matter whether you believe it or not, it's a warning for us to protect our environment. Many problems like global warming are caused by human activity. Then you might say, which is exactly what my book deals with? You say, this time in my research paper, I will include. But you need a, a transition to connect those first three lines to the thesis again. After human activity, if you said something like, well, which is exactly the issue that my book examines or something. And uh, that way, you can kind of include that information and kind of link it together there. Uh, all right, so I think part one, it doesn't, I don't think that topic sentence works very well. You say the nonfiction book, What We Can Do About Global Warming, which I reviewed, left me food for thought. But to me, the purpose here is to mention or define the first argument from the book. So you might say first, the book argues about something, then mention that. So you need to connect paragraph two back to the first part of your thesis. So I don't think that you've really done that very well. Also, uh, I think if you count paragraph two, you go down to line four. It says, obviously, they're definitely wrong. It sounds like you're saying this. And uh, I don't think that you want to say this. Uh, because in this part of your writing assignment, you're simply defining the arguments from the writer perspective, not your perspective. So be careful about that. Uh, paragraph three, I think, does have a good topic sentence, but you need to mention what the argument it is. You, you have to say, in addition to the previous argument, the writer also claims, but you say, why we are concerned about this problem. But how is that an argument? Is the writer saying that we should be more concerned about the problem? So I'm not exactly clear in paragraph three what the argument is, at least from the writer's perspective. So I think paragraph three doesn't really, again, connect back the way it should to the rest of uh, to, to the thesis. Uh, with your summary, your summary, you're in pretty good shape, I think. I would say paragraphs four and five, I think you can combine these together. Uh, I think paragraph six, seven, eight is a, a good connection. You're framing information, I think, from the writer's point of view. You're using the present tense verb as you do that. You're trying not to include too many details. You're including where this information comes from. So that's good. Uh, paragraph 9, this is difficult. I think you're, you're getting better, but you still haven't completely, I think, done the job. But anyway, part 3. You have a kind of a three-point argument, if I remember correctly. You're saying the author gives an objective statement of the facts. I still think there are some bias points in his book. You say these bias points can be divided into three parts. Number one, biased emotion, biased words, and biased language. OK, so. Paragraph 10, you say, in the author's book, he thinks that global warming is good for business. It is obviously a one-sided argument because he ignores the negative effect part in this sentence. 
the problem here is you haven't included a direct quote there's no quotations or quotation marks used here so you haven't really done the job right in paragraph 10 paragraph 11 though uh, I think is better let's see where your quote is here you see second the author says that the world all depends on the destiny you don't want to say if you say what he says you want to include the quote of what he says I said use four examples quoted from the passage again you haven't used a specific quote to help support your idea so I think still you haven't exactly done what we're trying to get done uh, paragraph 12 you do include a quote here you should have done this in the previous paragraphs you say for example I'm in paragraph 12 um, he says that quote by driving cars using electricity from coal-fired power plants we release carbon dioxide and other heat trapping gases into the atmosphere so you're saying that most people will pay attention to serious sentences not casual sentences so lots of informal sentences to say to state objective facts is unwise it's obvious the writer is biased okay that's better I don't, I'm not sure if you've completely done the job but paragraph 12 is the best part I think of part 3 of your writing assignment uh, the last part of your writing assignment I think is pretty good I think you did a decent job on that maybe one suggestion paragraph 15 uh, you talk about your own situation where people have destroyed the environment and I think how do these things that you see in your country for example a lot of pollution a lot of white pollution plastic bags food boxes you have sewer blockage and here you have what's called in the United States you think it's easier to breathe the air here than at home so how do these practices for example polluting and throwing things on the ground how does that trigger or cause global warming so I think in this case this is a good chance where you can use maybe some expert sources you could have used maybe an expert to help support your idea here and by saying if we don't throw our plastic bags uh, in the ground or at least if we don't manufacture this type of plastic we can decrease the amount of global warming that we're currently experiencing so you probably would have to find some experts to help support that idea okay so overall I think in the in the last paper I think that your grade was uh, I think I have 62 uh, plus I don't think I gave you the the 10 uh, extra credit points which means you get 72 uh, I'll give you 10 more points right now I'm gonna bump your paper up to 82 out of 100 so I, I think the paper is definitely better than what it was before so I'm changing your grade right now uh, and this is it you've worked hard uh, there's just simply no more time in this quarter to revise this paper so don't spend any more time rewriting this paper work on another class work on biology or math or whatever so your final grade on this paper is 82 out of 100 so uh, I appreciate uh, your hard work your dedication uh, keep up the good work you're a good student all right bye-bye